This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. I've constantly been getting calling on Facebook. It's not even a matter of if he's going to die. Should have got vodka. <laughs> So I came out camping Thursday night, plan on beating the convoy. I beat the convoy. And then who's leading the convoy is calling. And obviously everyone knew why who's was here. Just fucking go, oh, let's go chug another 2-6 and possibly risk our lives doing it to get a laugh. Colin, it's not funny anymore. You're gonna die if you do that shit. Like Colin came here and he was like, man, like give me some fucking boo. And I was like, man, I don't think you should be drinking that. So he yelled at me. The second two dicks, he started yelling at me and wanted to drink so much liquor and I just... I can't give him a whole toothache. Colin, this is serious business. Like, we're basically giving you an ultimatum here. If you don't give us the booze, we're giving up his friends. And that's just what it is. Wait, check out my skull. <laughs> it's just like he's in a deep, dark hole. And he's trapped and he, he doesn't know how to get himself out. Colin, C-O-L-I-N. Just driving to the liquor store. Gotta go pick up Colin. Cock bag, some, uh, some booze. Uh, if he goes, he gets too much, and you know, one of these days he'll end up killing himself. It's just getting to that point now. Just, uh, just, just being stupid. Something's gotta be done. Hopefully soon it'll change. So, uh, we're here at the liquor store. Get Colin his, uh, his daily uh, subscription of alcohol. He's gonna probably put himself to coma tonight and uh, get him some booze. Colin caught? You're fucking drinking and drive like crazy, bro. Hey, Colin! You can't drink and drive like that! This hurts our friendship, man. I thought we were friends, and I thought you were better than that. You know the Chris Farley method, that's good. You! 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 So hot. So hot right now. You have a fucking serious problem. You can't keep doing this forever. You have a serious <laughs> fucking problem, bro. You can't keep, you can't keep doing this forever. <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> uh, uh, At least uh, it's up now, right? Now you feel better, though. Now the night can now be you finished. Good. Look what he did to his own head. It's because of the booze, I bet. I know. <laughs> Should have got vodka. I was like, Colin, fucking don't do it, man. Like, fucking, you have your whole life ahead of you. And, like, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't, I don't know if I can feel bad about it anymore. He's, he's, he's destroying his own life. Come and get I just love Colin. You can't drink like that, Can't drink like that, We got a tough guy this weekend, eh? You can't drink like that, fucking cold. Hey, hey. I'm for all tomorrow. I know. Oh, I know. Hey, hit him! Take him down! <laughs> Try and kick him the bones every time! He's got his two sticks! What an idiot.
<laughs> Round five. Rock bottom for cafe. God, Colin. I haven't seen him in weeks. Like last time I saw Colin, he was it was like 11 in the morning. He was oh, could, couldn't even say my name. I went over to his house at 11 in the morning. I'm worried about him, you know. Like I really like him, but fuck. Like every time I see him, he's just I can't even communicate with him, you know. Like he is just out of it, and you know I I worry about him because. Uh, Something's gonna happen to him, but you know, Colin, I hope the best for you, alright? Colin's out of control tonight! Get her out, Colin. Just clean that shit. Oh, I'm fucking give her. Give her. Of course, shots of vodka are my idea. Hey, that's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I told you I was just thinking you can't be Shots of vodka are always your idea. He hides liquor everywhere. Um, this is actually a state light rum. At one point, he had 47 bottles of vodka stashed in every possible place that you could imagine. You know, if this guy doesn't change his, change his way, it's not going to happen. He's going to, I, you know what, this guy, he's going to, he's going to mess himself up with wicked. I just want him to save himself, and then he's, he's got to do something about it. This affects our friendship, man. You get too drunk, and then we can't even hang out, and then you puke and you pass out, and how can we even be friends if you drink that much? It's gotten to a point where we're thinking he could be like, passed out right now. Like, he could be passed out in a bar, he could be passed out in a ditch. We don't know why he's not here. when we didn't have to worry about those things with him. Like, I just remember this one time at Cam's where he just stripped down, started flexing for us, and that was the call that we used to know. Did you take the ultimate sacrifice for Colin to get him to stop drinking? Yeah, because he just drink so much. I just... He doesn't realize how much it hurts us. No. Not, not so selfish, but it's just, you know, respect so many people, not just him. It's way more than he knows. He's not and a selfish it, guy. Uh, That's my call, but he's he's like one of my best friends, friends, but he just... So I can't even know if I call him my best friend anymore. It's ridiculous. My friend, he's an alcoholic. And it's hurting his, his relationship right now. I've talked to his girlfriend. She says he's a great guy, but the way the way he acts when he's drunk, it's just unacceptable. He doesn't respect anybody. He's an asshole. There's just no way with coping with it. We really, really need your help. Can you please help us? Thank you, Intervention. The only thing that comes out of his mouth tomorrow that we care about is yes, I'll go. Anything that comes out of his mouth except yes is noise.
All right. What are you going to say to him if he says no? This needs to be the biggest thing you'll actually do. Are you going to take him to your house? Absolutely not. He will not be staying in my house. The only phone call I'll take from you if you don't get help is give me a ride to treatment. <laughs> All right. You guys feel better? Hurts your heart, doesn't it? When you, when you look at him and see him, hurts your heart. There's nothing we will do to help this go one more second. This is done. Tomorrow when he promises us he's going to quit using, we don't care. We have a better plan for him. I don't think he's going to get away. Just uh, drive to Collins intervention here. Hopefully everything goes as planned. He's going to treatment. He's gone. I need to get my friend back. I'm Jeff. Call it. These guys love you like crazy and they feel like they're losing you and they're not willing to. They want to fight to get you back. They want to say some things and then you're going to say what you're going to say and we're done. That's it. Dear Colin, I'm here today to tell you that I love you and miss you. You're a great friend and a great person to be around when you're sober. But when you're drinking, you turn into creepy Colin. And that's a Colin I don't want to see. If you do not accept this opportunity to come sober, today you will no longer be welcome in my life. Again, please accept this gift of recovery today. I love you so much. Colin, you've always been an important part of my life. You've been a role model and a good friend. This disease has taken over your life in many negative ways. We're offering you this gift of treatment. Will you please accept this gift today and get help? Okay. Just hit the bricks. Right See ya. Oh, come back, please. Please come back. He doesn't decide that the intervention's over. We decide. You know, he thinks he decided by walking out, but that doesn't make this go away. It's, it's not over yet, you guys. He's not an idiot. He's, he, he's, he's addicted, but he's not an idiot. So he's doing the math this whole time, and uh, he needs to do the math and come up with the answer himself at this point, you know? Now we're going to invite you to join the fight. I just hope he comes back sober and clean without looking through that damn bottle. You know, I'm on my way, I'm on my way to uh, see Colin, you know, uh, it's, it's been, it's been three months since the, since the intervention, you know, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're gonna meet up with him pretty quick here, and I, I just, I just can't wait, I, uh, I hope he's doing alright, and, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just excited to see how he's doing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what Colin's accomplished in the treatment that the last three months is really just remarkable. Thanks for coming, guys. Yeah.